The play zone is a paradigm shift in performance psychology that masters the mental game of performance through the body. This unique methodology is based on the neurophysiological framework of the polyvagal theory by Dr. Stephen Porges. This is a quick intro for what we will explore in the online course. Here's our situation. We want to perform at our best. We take the stage when it really counts and our status, identity, or even money are on the line. And here's our response. We choke under pressure. We tighten up. We lose control. We might press too hard or explode. We could even freeze, check out, break down, and even give up, especially in the decisive moments. Why does this happen? The old culture says, well, it's all in our head. We must be mentally tough. We can think our way through the pressure and back into peak performance, or we must repress and ignore and control our feelings and emotions. We don't want to show them because they are signs of weakness. We must fight, dominate, do whatever it takes in order to win and succeed and be the best. But I am here to share a new paradigm of performance, one that approaches performance and resilience through managing our physiology, where we listen to our body. And when there's a mismatch between what's happening in our body and what we want to happen or think should be occurring, we need to first respect our bodily feelings. Every single aspect of performance is built on top of our physiological state, including our psychology, our confidence, and that felt sense of belief. Peak performance emerges only from a body that feels safe, comfortable, and in control. But there's a challenge. The environment, our field of play, the stage, it's uncertain, it's evaluative, it's risky, and it's really important to us. Because we can't control everything going on around us, we don't feel entirely safe, comfortable, and in control in our body. And a body that doesn't feel safe, comfortable, and in control isn't capable of optimal performance no matter what we think. But there's a solution. We can bring the body back into safety, back into comfort. We can tune into our bodily state. We can find and absorb what is safe in the situation. And we can regain control of our bodily responses so we shift into a bodily state for optimal performance. There's an intervening variable between when our performance on game day, in those big moments, when it doesn't match our practice potential, how we perform when nothing's on the line. This variable is our physiological state. It's not that we aren't skilled enough to perform, but rather our physiology, especially in the big moments, doesn't match the bodily state we have in practice. When there's less pressure, when there are no fans, when we're facing fewer challenges, or when there's an easier opponent. To optimize our resilience, to optimize our performance, we need to replace overthinking and repressing emotions and masking nervous energy and replace it with strategies and resources and even interactions with others that we trust. In essence, we recognize our bodily reactions, but then we learn to regain control of our physiology. Our bodily state either interrupts or promotes our performance. We can let this play out on its own, hope for the best, pretend, rush through, repress, or we can learn to manage our bodily state to our advantage and retune our nervous system to support our intentions and our highest potential, especially when it matters the most. This all comes down to what I call the hierarchy of performance, which we will learn about in this course. We can learn to climb this hierarchy on demand. And there's an ideal state of performance. And this is a relaxed, calm, combined with mobilization, energy, intention, action. This is the play zone. Every single aspect of performance sits on top of our physiology. It's not about working hard or grinding more or driving ourselves to keep going. It's about managing our body, our physiology. And it's not magic. We don't need to wait for it. 
we can actually access it on demand. In this course, we will explore our reflexive bodily reactions. We will develop a variety of go-to tools and we will master strategies to handle all of the unexpected cues of threat that we face so that we not only perform at our best, but we essentially live and breathe and move in our play zone. And we do this on and off the stage. Thank you for sharing your attention with me and exploring this introduction to the play zone, what I call a polyvagal informed approach to optimize our resilience, our performance, and most importantly, the overall quality of our health, our work, our play, and our relationships. Let's play.